A true American hero born right here in Arkansas. President Trump today awarding the Congressional Medal of Honor to Arkansas native Sergeant Major John Canley for his heroism during the war. And our Washington correspondent Drew Petromo reports both the president and fellow soldiers spoke about his bravery during the war. John Canley is from Caledonia, way down in South Arkansas near the Texas border. He served with the Marine Corps during the height of fighting in the Vietnam War. And it's the bravery he showed during battle that earned him presidential praise here at the White House. Retired Sergeant Major John Canley betrayed no emotion as he stood at attention and became the 300th Marine to receive the nation's highest award for valor. But those who fought with him say it was an emotion that made him beloved. It was leadership. John's fellow Marines have described him as a Marine warrior, and I can see it who is bigger than life and beyond the reach of death. In early 1968, in the Battle of Hue during the Vietnam War, Canley repeatedly risked his life to save fellow soldiers after they were surrounded. John weighed seven straight days of unrelenting combat. When his commanding officer was severely wounded, Canley took over, exposing himself to fire while leading attacks on enemy positions. It's not just the president who speaks about Canley's bravery. It also comes from the men who fought alongside him. His reputation was that he never ducked, he never crawled. In a video produced by the military, comrades talked about Canley as a man without fear. During firefights, when we'd be all hugging Mother Earth, he'd be standing up directing us. They say that bravery saved the lives of countless men. All of us. The, the lieutenant included, literally worship the ground that he walks on. Some of those men were at the White House Wednesday, bursting with pride as John Canley received the medal they knew he deserved. Canley is declining to be interviewed by the press as he receives this award. Recordings of those who fought along with him seem to give an indication of why. They say he never sought recognition, only to care for his fellow Marines. Reporting from the White House, I'm Drew Petromo, KRK4 News.